Shalom, dear friends. We continue with a series of new Chidushi Torah, and the Pasuk we chose today is Choneni Hashem Ki Umlal Oni, Rufaini Hashem Ki Nivalu Atamai. Be gracious to me, O Hashem, because I languish, heal me. I languish. Heal me, O Hashem, because my bones are frightened. Psalm 6 3. In Rashi, the simple interpretation, umlau, means devastated and poor in strength. A person is crying out on how feebly they feel and to the point of fright. There are many levels of sickness, but nothing beats preventive medicine. Sharing the same gematria of the entire Pasuk, which is 1036, is the word Venish Martem Od. Be very careful, guard yourself. A person has to be careful to take care of both their physical and spiritual being. It isn't enough to just run to Hashem or the doctor when we don't feel well. We must practice healthy eating, exercise, and spiritual meditation for our souls. But should we be sick, we must call out. Rufaini Hashem. Heal me Hashem. And not rely on the doctor alone. These two words, Rufaini Hashem, total 363, which is the same gematria as HaMashiach, the complete healing of the world is from the coming of the Messiah. If you take the first words of the Pasuk, Chaneni Hashem Kim La'oni, you get a total numerical value of 336, which shares the Gematcha Harofim, the physicians. When a person is ill, they go to the physician viewing them as an agent to Hashem to, to enable healing. But a doctor alone has no power. It takes Hashem's graciousness in allowing the healing to take place. It's important that we make Hashem one, believing in complete faith that it is He who heals us. So let's add one to the number of 336. We we'll get a total one for the complete amun of faith in God that we're supposed to have. We get 337, which shares the word near pa, and it is healed. Because before Hashem gives the illness to a person, way before he began to pray for salvation, he already created the antidote. As it says in Yeshaya, Isaiah, I will answer them before they even call to me. Isaiah 63, 24. Chazal say that the same energy that, that brings the disease is the same energy that actually heals it. That's why you see many cases where the antidote for like a snake bite or a scorpion comes from the same poison that is emitted to cause the harm. We also learn this from Rashi. Kol hamachala asher samti mitzrayim lo asim alecha ki ani Hashem rofecha. All the sickness that I visit upon Egypt, I will not visit it upon you, for I, the Hashem, heal you. Shemos fifteen twenty six. I will not visit upon you. And if I do bring sickness upon you, it is as if it has not been brought. For I, Hashem, heal you. This is the Medrashic interpretation. See the Mechilta on Gemara Sanhedrin 101a. Now according to its simple meaning we explain, For I, the Hashem, am your physician. And I teach you the Torah and mitzvot in order that you be saved from them. Saved from illnesses. 
Like this physician who says to a person, do not eat things that will cause you to relapse into the grip of illness. This warning refers to listening closely to the commandments. And so scripture says, it, it shall be healing for your navel. We see this also from the story of King Chizkiah. There was a book of healing from which Hashem had already had all the, from the times of Adam, had all the healings and the, all the remedies. But the king, Chizkiah, he hid it so people would pray to Hashem and not just rely upon remedies. Furthermore, the Torah is the only true help for a person against sin. And that too Hashem created before He created its adversary. The rabbis taught, the Torah says, Visamte, and you shall place these words of mine in your hearts, in your souls. Nevarim 11.18 You can also read this as Sam Tom. A perfect medicine. Sam, Tom. Perfect medicine. The Torah is a perfect medicine. The rabbis give a parable comparing it to a man who wounded his son. So he put medicine and, 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 the band, and a bandage on the wound. And he told his son, as long as you keep the bandage with the medicine on your wound, you can eat with pleasure, drink with pleasure. You can wash with hot water or cold water. And you don't have to worry about it. If you take off the medicine, it will get gangrenous. Likewise, Hashem has told Israel, My children, I have created evil, the evil inclination, and I created the Torah as His antidote against it. I wrote in my Torah, If you do good, you will be more powerful. And if you do not do good, sin awaits, crouching at the door. It desires to control you, but you can overpower it says in Bereshus 4.7 As long as you're engrossed in the Torah you will not be controlled by the evil inclination. This is why the Torah says if you do good you will be more powerful. I'm sorry. We already said that. Not only that, Hashem said but the evil inclination will spend all its time and energies trying to make you sin. Which is why the verse says it desires to control you. If you want to, you can over, over, overpower the evil inclination. As it says, it desires to control you, but you can overpower it. It says in Gemara, in the Talmud Kedushin 30b, Rafaini b'nei Rafa. B'nei Rafa. Rafaini b'nei Rafa. Heal us and we will be healed. Heal us, for you heal us. We will certainly be healed. The Hebrew root for healing is Rafa. Is a re it's a rearrangement of the word pere, meaning wild. So long as there is no healing, the elements within one are wild and out of joint. The body, the mind, the soul, the very world are desolate and formless, like the earth before the revelation of Shem's light, says in Genesis 1-2. It is the light of spirituality, that brings order to the elements. Into true healing, Rifua turns pere, wildness, into pe'er, which means beauty and harmony. The true beauty of godly revelation. So, Torah from Rev. Grimba. Now, that, that section there about pere. Now, a joyous heart is good medicine. Whereas a broken spirit dries the bones, says in Proverbs 17.22. The Rambam stated the physician should make every effort to see that everyone sick and healthy alike should always be cheerful. He should seek to relieve them of the spiritual and psychological forces that cause anxiety. This is the first principle in curing any patient. Rambam Hagos Habriot 3, number 13 to 14. Now there was a certain sick man whom a great and famous Jewish doctor had given up all hope of curing. The man was unable to speak the Baal Shem Tov was visiting his town and was asked to come see him. The Baal Shem Tov told them to prepare the, in, the invalid a meat soup and said that as soon as he ate it he would start to speak. They gave him the soup and he recovered. The doctor said to Baal Shem Tov, How did you cure him? I know that, the, that his blood vessels were irreparably damaged. 
Rosh Hashem replied, Your approach to his sickness was physical, but mine was spiritual. A person has 248 limbs and 365 veins and arteries corresponding to the 238 positive precepts in the Torah. And if 365 negative prohibitions, when a person fails to carry out a positive mitzvah, the corresponding limb is damaged. And when he contravenes a prohibition, the corresponding blood vessel is damaged. If he contravenes many prohibitions, many blood vessels become damaged. The blood does not flow and the person is in danger. But I spoke to his soul and persuaded her to repent and she undertook to do so. This way, all his limbs and blood vessels were repaired and I could heal him. Shabbat Shalom. 125. The main thing is Amuna, faith. Every person must search within himself and strengthen himself in faith. For there are people suffering from the most terrible afflictions, and the only reason they are still ill is because of a collapse of faith. A Torah from Rabbi Nachman, the Kutim Aran, number two. And that concludes the Pasuk we began with, which says, Chonneni Hashem, Ki umla oni, Rafaini Hashem ki nivalu atzamai. Be gracious to me, O Hashem, because I languish. Heal me, O Hashem, because my bones are frightened. Psalm 6 3. May we see a healing, both spiritually and physically. May we find Hashem and soon have the complete healing of the world. Rafaini Hashem, which was Gematria Ha Mashiach. Let us increase our faith, our connection to God. Let us increase the Torah study because through that, through that is the greatest protection. And let us take better care of ourselves physically at this exercise. Let's eat healthy and give 100%. Shalom, shalom. <laughs>